Hi, I'm Charlie, and I'm going to uh, show you how to do basic titles in DaVinci Resolve. Um, I've been using DaVinci Resolve for about a month now, and sometimes I find uh, some of the instruction a little bit uh, hard to understand, so that's why I'm making this video. Uh, first, we're going to uh, take a look at the upper left-hand corner here. Uh, this right now is my media pool. You see a couple of scenes here. Uh, I have taken these scenes and added them to the timeline already. But we need a little bit more real estate here, so I'm going to click on the media pool. And uh, now the effects portion comes up and we have all the effects. And there's all kinds of transitions and audio, but we're going to focus on titles. There are two basic titles here. Well, text is the basic title, as you can see it, it says it right there. And the other one is a custom title, which can be configured in the uh, Fusion page, which is uh, to the right of the Edit page. But let's take the text one right now, and we'll bring it to the timeline. Highlight it so that uh, we can see it. And then uh, we're going to go up here to the uh, Inspector. Uh, let's go up a little closer so we can see it. And uh, click on Inspector. And now we see that we've got that basic title that we just put in here is now over top of the scene. Contrast isn't very good there, so you could change the color. But let's put a, a different title in here. This is really uh, Avon, Colorado. And uh, that's their little park at Avon. But anyway, do you see, still see the text. Well, let's change the color to something else. And on our inspector, it, it comes up with a color grid. Let's, uh, let's change it to blue and see what happens. That doesn't look very good. Uh, black. Black we could use. Uh, let's go back up here and let's, uh, let's uh, delete that title box. Okay, uh, let's start with the uh, text plus uh, part. As you can see it here, in, in our, uh, pull in the text box to the timeline, highlight it, and then I'm going to go to the Fusion page, and here it is here, that's our template, it is hooked to this particular data so that it will show, and up here in the Inspector part, you can see we have the custom title, let's change that, at uh, this time we'll use the same, we'll call it Avon Colorado, and we'll change it to, um, let's change it to red. And we'll see where we want to play that, place that. Okay, now it's red. Now in this particular uh, window, we can change all kinds of things. The size, we'll make it bigger, smaller. Uh, tracking, it can, you can make them wider, the letters, etc. however you'd like. Uh, and there's a lot of them that you can play around with here. Uh, most of them uh, I have not been really experimenting with, but let's just take this particular uh, one and let's uh, you got to get it right in the center so you can drag it anywhere and I'm going to put it uh, over the I think the lake is right about here so we'll go back to the edit page and that's the one thing you do with uh, these two pages is that um, you're going back and forth between the edit page and fusion page quite a bit so you see that's not bad but if I wanted to adjust it I'd go to the other side a very quick one. The two that I've been using are, I've used mostly text plus because I like to be able to move it easily by clicking in the center as you saw. Uh, let's do it one more time, get back here because it was a little tricky. But let's say I want to adjust that. You see the arrows that are flashing, there's one here. If you've got both of them in the center here, then you can move it anywhere you want. Um, it probably would even look good down on the green. Let's try that take a look at it. Well that's about it. Um, this is the inspector pay, uh, page for a lot of these but I think it worked pretty well. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like the, uh, the video hit subscribe and like. Helps out a little bit. I'm just getting started so I uh, really don't have a lot of it. 